I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video just so everybody sees it. The settings that I'm running here are not recommended by the iNav devs and this build was running super clean on beta flight with no issues whatsoever. A lot of time and effort has gone into making sure that all the electronics and the mechanicals are all really really clean. If you're thinking about giving this a go then use a small drone first. I'm just about to calibrate the compass, I've put it on the hinge now and I've set the camera angle to the lowest that I can have with the carbon plates that I've got. The props will be in view but my thinking is uh, from the point of view of putting some footage online when it goes into position hold or return to home uh, with the camera as it was before it was just looking up into the sky uh, which was quite disorientating so hopefully uh, you might be able to see what's going on a little bit better now. That was the most stable position hold that I've seen out of this or out of the other test rig that I was doing. Next up, gonna do a little bit more return to home. Can't really say fairer than that. I think that's spot on. I've just noticed that the tire on my bike's gone flat. I'm so happy, it's such a relief, just being able to flick the switch um, and test return to home is so good. And then just knowing that that's going to happen in a fail safe situation is, yeah, it's a weight off my mind. Thanks for checking out the video. There's loads more to be done on this. And if you want to keep updated, then hit the like and the subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated. Huge thanks to the iNav devs. Um, can't wait to keep pushing it forward. Personally, I really like the way that iNav's flying on this. If you are chasing issues on your cine lifter, I don't think that iNav is going to be a magic bullet. But if you can get a good tune on Betaflight, you should be able to equal it on iNav.